This week on My Boat, we're going to transform the cockpit of an old 80s boat. We're going to show how you can do it yourself and save a few dollars in the process. We're going to use Textex EVA foam product. The first step is to measure and create a template for the cutter. To be as accurate as possible, we removed as much hardware as we could before measuring. So what are we using here? We're we using a hey, vinyl? This is a 7 mil acetate we use. Anybody can use whatever you like. This is easy enough to obtain. We'll even send you some if you like. What other kind of materials would people use? You can use a 6 mil house wrap. It's a vapor barrier. OK. And you can find that at like Home Depot, Home Hardware, anywhere local. You could live 1,000 miles away. Absolutely. You can send me a pattern. We can, we're shipping all over Canada right now. Really? Yeah. The template is the trickiest part. The lines don't have to be perfectly straight, but it does have to accurately represent the dimensions of the surface. The only tools you'll need are a pair of scissors, a marker, some tape, and a straight edge to draw the lines. Just take your time. Uh, the deck's only going to be as good as the pattern. OK. How close to the corners and the edges can you get? I like to stay about a quarter inch away so you have some flexibility, some maneuverability. OK. I'm going to cut a little hole in the floor. OK. Stick a little of my tuck tape in there. And that stops the pattern from shifting around. So a couple little holes. How many holes for a cockpit this big? Uh, maybe four. Four or five? Yep. Cool. The next step is to digitize the template for cutting. And this is where your squiggly lines and radii get straightened out as much as possible. There are two layers of foam in many different colors. The cutter generates the pattern by cutting through the top layer only. Pretty slick. Turnaround times are short. Once Steve has the pattern, the foam pieces will be ready in about a week. Now, it's really important to get the deck clean, and the best way to do that is to use acetone. Now, this 3M adhesive is incredible, so it's going to stick like crazy, but as long as you give it a nice, clean surface to grip, too. Once clean, we start to position the big pieces, lining up the seams and taping them in place. So, laying them, Steve. OK. What's the trick? The idea is to get them all placed where you want them, and then carefully uh, adhere half of it while it's taped down and without moving. Ideally, start with a middle piece and work towards the edge. So I'm going to peel it back halfway. And we're going to score this wax paper on the back. Just lightly score. Yeah, we don't want to cut right through the mat. Right. Pro tip number one, fold both halves of the paper back a couple of inches to make it easier to peel the second half. As you stick the foam, you smooth it out towards the edge to prevent air pockets from forming underneath. With the middle stuck, we work on the outer pieces. And then the hatches. Total install time. It took us about a half an hour or so to acetone the entire deck nice yep. and clean. Yep. And then you and I installed this floor in about 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, easily. Way less than an hour. So fast, really fast. And yep. the transformation is spectacular. I mean, this was an old, crappy, painted deck with lots of little spider cracks in it. Yep. Repainting it, they would come back. Now we've got a completely transformed deck. This is basically waterproof. Yep. We've sealed up those cracks to protect them. Yep. It's extremely comfortable and soft, not hard. And of course, it doesn't get that hot in the sun. The sun, right. That's the nice part. In the two years we've been putting this down, we haven't had one return or one complaint. Right. Thanks again, man. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. It looks amazing. Like, it doesn't even look like the same deck. Can I step on it? Yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. So there's one caveat. What's that? We need to have a dance party to glue it all down. Well, it's a tough job. Somebody's got to do it.